Sorry. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, can I have a coffee, please, to take away? And uh, a couple of them Eccles cakes, please. Eccles. Doesn't that have a train station? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Ryan's coming home tonight. They're his favourite. Oh, is he here for the summer? Yeah, he is. Can't wait. I've hardly seen him. Mind you, he has been studying really hard. So. Well, you must be very proud of him. I am indeed. He's the only Connor to go to university. Better than being a train driver. Although, I'm going to take him out for dinner later, you know, just have a proper catch-up. Oh, by the way, um, Carla's gone away for a bit, so me and Rob are going to be running things for a while. Is it something to do with Peter? Nothing's happened, has it? No, he's fine. But they have decided to take an extended break, so if you could let the others know, I've got to dash off for a meeting. Oh, okay, of course, yeah. All right, thanks. See ya. What's the bet in the both in Rio? Uh, yeah, well, it's not really any of our business where they are. Oh, maybe they've gone on some luxury cruise to reaffirm their love for one another. <sighs> Must be great to be able to get up and leave whenever you feel like it. Wish I had a job like that. Yeah, I wish you had an all. Right, girls. Come on, we better get on with that McNeard if we've any chance of finishing it on time. We've got no chance unless we get more machinists. Problem solved, then. Well, partly. I think you all know Eva. She's going to be working with you. You are? I didn't know you could solve. I can't. How hard can it be? <laughs> Uh, Rob, can I have a word? Sure. Uh, Julie, show Eva the ropes. Yeah, I'm just going to get a brew first. If there's any clink ups. What the hell do you think you're playing at? Solving a crisis. Adding to it, more like. Hey, guess what? Carla just texted, said I could have her flat while she's away. No, stop changing the subject. You've got no right to go employing someone without asking me, especially someone without experience. I'm just giving her a chance, you know, like what Carla did when she took you on? Yeah, except her decision wasn't based on who she wanted to bed. Well. Two birds with one stone, you know. Oh, God. Right, OK. I'll leave you to lock up. Can't wait to get back and see Ryan. OK, give him my best. Will do. See ya. See ya. Wait, you've done it again. Ryan? Ryan? Well... Not quite the welcome home I intended. What the hell happened? Well, they won't say. Because we don't know. We literally just went outside for, like, five minutes. What were you doing here, anyway? That's what I want to know. Just keeping Sophie company. You ain't got a few cans in by the looks of it. Or was it your idea to party? No. Uh, Sophie doesn't drink. Well, she doesn't exactly look sober, Kevin. I hope you're not trying to blame all this on her. Well, you're being quick enough to blame Ryan. I don't care who's to blame. I want to know who's going to pay for it. He is. It's not my fault. I mean, the hoover was plugged in. Maybe there's something up with the wiring. There's nothing wrong with the wiring. And how do you know? Oh, you know what? Look, this is your house. You can sort it out now. Uh, no, it's not. Not so we've exchanged. Well, I'm not paying for it. Right, well, I'm pulling out. What? You heard. Stuff your house. Come on, Soph. I'm going home. I'm sorry. Oh, brilliant. Are you sure you don't know anything? Oh, yeah. Blame me like everybody else. I'm going home. Oh. <sighs> Look, Steve, I'm sorry. I'll try and get to the bottom of it. Well, it don't matter now, does it? Because the damage is done. I'm back to square one. Stuck with a house I can't sell and I can't flipping afford. Brilliant. 